Hello guys, welcome to ating Cortex and Family's channel. So today, magbabasa na naman ako ng Bible because I love reading Bible. Okay, let's start. A room and a book. The woman of Shonem stood on the doorstep of her flat roof, mud brick home. She shaded her eyes with her hand and looked down the dusty road that led by her door. Prophet Elisha, 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 and his helper come this way. She said to her husband, the man of Shunem, who was sharpening his sickle under an olive tree. The prophet walked slowly and leans hard on his st staff. I'll invite him and his helper to stop by and have bread and drink with us. Next. Prophet Elisha thanked the woman of Shunem for the bread and the drink. When she invited him to stay and rest a while, he said, Nay, nay we must hurry on. The sun is low and we have far to go. As she wa watched the tired men climb the hill, she said to her husband, let us, let us build a room on the roof of our house so that when the, when the prophet comes this way, he, we may invite him to stay the night. Brick upon brick, when, m with mortar between, the man and the woman of Shunem build, built a room on the roof of her of their house. The bricks were made of mud and dried in the sun, brick upon brick, with mortar between, until, until the walls were just the right height. Right. Then a flat roof they built over the room, and last of all, a stairway leading up to it. In the new room, in the new room, the woman of Shanem placed a bed and a stool, a table for the prophet's Bible, and a candlestick for him to read by. Every day, the woman, woman of Shanem watched to see if Prophet Eli, Elisha and his helper were coming along the dusty road. Late one day, the prophet and his helper came by. The, one, the woman of Shunem invited, invited them in to have bread and to stay the night. When the prophet saw the new room, he was pleased, very pleased. What can we do to repay your kindness? He asked. Would you have us to speak to the king or the captain? of the army for you nay my lord said the woman of Shunem my husband and I do not want any pay but prophet Elisha wished to do a kindness for the woman and the man of Shunem Shunem because of their kindness to him the <laughs> What could it be? I have noticed, he said his helper, that they have no son. When the, the woman of Shunem again stood at, this, at the door, Prophet Elisha said, We shall pray God, and this time next year he will send you and your husband a baby son. The, one, the woman of Shunem was pleased and very Okay. Wow, cute. 
baby boy. It happened just as Prophet Elijah had said. The next year, a baby boy was born to the woman and the man of Shunem. The baby's father and mother were sure that he was one of the finest and fairest babies in all the country round about Shunem. And should he be? Was he a prayed for baby? This is him. As the baby grew to be a boy, he and Prophet Elisha became good friends. Now it was the boy who watched the dusty road to see if the prop if to see if the prophet and his helper were coming. He's coming, Prophet Elijah is co- Elisha is coming. He would shout and race down the road to meet him from there to the mud brick house. The prophet had double help in walking, his staff on one side and the boy on the other. When the boy was up as tall as a bundle of barley, he begged to go to the harvest field. He couldn't cut grain with a sharp sickle, not yet, but he could pick up the grain that the reapers got. <coughs> and he did. The sun shone hot, very hot on his head. Suddenly, he dropped his arm full of grain. My head, my head, he cried. Carry the boy to his mother, said the man of Shunim to a young helper. Oh. Wait. Okay, that's all. <gasps> what happened to him? All morning long, the woman, woman of Shunim helped the small boy on her lap and sponged his head with cool water. About noon, she saw that he no longer breathed. She carried him to the prophet's room and gently laid him on the prophet's bed. Then she called to her husband, Send me a young man and passes and your passes mule. I wish to ride up to the prophet's house. His name is telling me. Quiet. The wo- woman of Shanem sat dead the, the donkey while the young man saddled another. Saddled. Ride fast, said the woman of Shanem. Ride as fast as you can. They rode so fast that the donkeys left a swirling cloud of gray dust behind them. The woman, the woman of Shanim rode straight to the prophet's door and told him what had happened to the prayed for boy. <laughs> thirsty. Prophet Elisha went home with the woman of Shanim. He climbed the stairs to his room. He opened the door and there on the bed lay his little friend. His eyes were closed. His eyes were closed. His cheeks were pale. His hands were cold. Dear Lord, brave prophet Elisha, show me what to do and make this boy live. Live. Ah, live. Oh no, he lives. Prophet Elisha stretched his body over the little boy to warm him. He put his hand on the boy's hands and his cheeks cheek against the boy's cheek. He breathed into his mouth. Twice the prophet did this. And all of the time he was praying, the little boy became warm. His cheeks turned pink. He opened his eyes. He sneezed seven times. When he saw his prophet friend, he smiled. Prophet Elisha sent 
for the boy's mother to take up your son, he said. He is well. The woman of Shunem knelt up before the prophet. How can I thank you? I, she asked. The prophet said, It was God who made your boy well. Thank you. Take up your son and be happy. And she took him up. Now her son was not only a prayed for boy, he was a made well boy besides. That evening, we think we see the woman of Shunem sitting on the doorstep of her mud brick home. Holding close her maid well boy, the man of Shunem joins them and points to the room on the roof. We thought to do a kindness when we built the room, but the kindness has come back to us twice over. Kindness always come back, comes back, say, says the woman of Shunem. Kindness comes back, whispers to the sleepy. Whispers to Sleepy Boy. Hey guys, so tapos na tayo dun sa isang story. Ngayon, nagbabasa ulit tayo ng new story. It's called Daniel and the Lions. Let's start reading. Many years had gone by since Daniel had been taken a prisoner to Babylon, Babylon. He had grown to be a wise, good man, and now a new king sat upon the royal throne. The new king soon learned that no matter what happened, he could trust Daniel. So the new king made Daniel ruler next to himself the, over all the people of the kingdom, over all the wise men of the kingdom, over all the princess, princes of the kingdom. <laughs> the princess became angry. Princess, yeah became angry when the king made Daniel ruler of over them so angry they began plotting a way to get rid of Daniel said a sly prince will find some fault will find some fault in him and go tell the king so the princess watched Daniel, but not a fault could they find in him. Daniel didn't lie. He didn't cheat. He was never late. He did his work well. I know what we can do, said the sly prince. Tell us, chorus the princess. What can we do? <sighs> Have you not seen Daniel open his window? 